But guys, some big breaking news in the world of the Big Ten. Brett McMurphy is reporting that Scott Frost has agreed to a seven-year, $35 million deal. The former Huskers quarterback, the Nebraska native. Look, this isn't a huge surprise, but he's heading home. He'll be the new coach at Nebraska. Thoughts, Jerry? Yeah, no question it's not a surprise, right? Because the search went quiet. When a search goes quiet, like the opposite of Tennessee, you know it's over. So that's, that's the first thing. The second thing is, if you've had greatness in your past, I believe you always can have greatness in your future. Scott for us is obviously from there. He, this is a great hire for the fan base. I'm not sure they would have embraced anybody else but Scott Frost. So this was a must hire, a must get. And the last thing, Stanley, is this. Every school that you go to thinks they have the best facilities, especially the fan base. He's been at Oregon. They may have the best facilities. So now somebody comes home and, and has had great experience. He played for Coach Osborne, but now he's been to some other places. It's like the best of both worlds. And so he can say with authority, we can get better at facilities. We can do things a different way and still hang on to our past. Yeah, and listen, not just for Nebraska fans. I, I think this is great for Big Ten fans. Sure. If you think about the job that these athletic directors have done the last five years in this conference, bringing great coaches into it. You could argue that Coach Frost is the hottest coaching prospect out there right now. So bringing him into the mix, the fact that he's going to be in the, in the West, just strengthens this conference spice and makes it even more appealing going forward. You know, I play with uh, Frost when I was with San Francisco, and, you know, he, he was playing safety at the time, and you can just look into his eye and just hear his communication and know that he was going to be a great coach. So this was a great hire for Nebraska, and you, you had something you were going to say, Coach? You looked like you were going to say I was going to wait until you were done. Oh, all right. I'm done. Go ahead. No, but I was, the, way you, the way you described him, Spice, reminds me of Jeff Robb. And, he, and with okay. the little bit I see him on TV, I haven't had the personal experience, he reminds me of Jeff Robb. It was real uh, intense I thought you were going to crack a joke on me. No, no, this real intense guy. He's obviously going to coach okay, the yeah. offense. And that's his personality. And it, it, it's certainly working in West Lafayette. Well, and he's a winner, and he understands that program. Uh, he definitely is a winner. He just finished off a 12-0 season a yeah. matter of moments ago, guys, yeah. with a 62-55 to double overtime wow. win over Memphis. So 12-0 for UCF. They were 0-12 before he got there. So you talk about an incredible turnaround. Again, Scott Frost heading to Nebraska, a program that hasn't won a, big, a conference championship since 1999. Long drop. So you you, said, it, you said it best, though, Stanley. This is great for the conference. Yeah. You said it best. No doubt. I mean, yeah, for them terrific. to go out, yep. get their number one coaching candidate to do it as efficiently as they did when you think about everything else that's going on. No <laughs> doubt about it. Okay, our final Big Ten game of the year coming up. And you know, guys, what that means is it is also our final tailgate. <laughs> and this show has been known for a few things. It's been known for shrewd analysis. Sure. No doubt about that. Sure. It's been known for really poor weather. Yeah. And it's been known for